Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to decan your catalytic converters and the five things you need to know. So the first thing you're going to want to know is the proper shear to use when decanning your catalytic converters. We suggest using the guillotine type shear versus the alligator type shear, not only for safety, but with the guillotine shear, you have the large shark tooth that comes down and it will puncture your catalytic converter, but you also will have the head block that also comes down and it will help squeeze your catalytic converter. Thus, it will help you extract the ceramic monolith inside the converter. Another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the stainless steel mesh which surrounds the brick. Believe it or not, this stainless mesh is higher value than the can itself. The can is a 409 ferretic grade and the wire mesh is 304 stainless grade. So now you have these two items and you can separate them accordingly and sell those items as scrap metal. Now that you know which shear to use when decanning your catalytic converters, you need to know how am I going to collect all this material. It's simple. We suggest using a super sack. So you're going to use a super sack, it's going to be underneath the shear as you're decanning to collect all the material. We do not recommend using a Gaylord box, nor do we recommend using a drum. The reason why we recommend using a super sack is because it's clean and it's easy to close. Dust collection system are also commonly referred to as a bag house. We suggest a cartridge type system because they are easy to clean. You're going to want to have a ventilation system when you're decanting your catalytic converters. You want to protect your operator as well as you want to collect as much dust as possible because there is value in the dust. So with a system with a ventilation hose in the front of your shear and behind your shear, you're going to want at least 2500 CFMs so you have even suction front and back of your shear. Also, you want to have a cartridge that will filter down to at least 0.5 microns. Safety equipment. Come on guys, we're talking about common sense. You're going to want to wear protective clothing. I suggest some heavy duty gloves, a long sleeve shirt, sunglasses or some goggles, maybe even a face shield. But we do recommend wearing an air purifying system. It keeps the operator cool by filtering fresh air while he is operating the shear as well as keeping out any harmful dust particulates. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is maintenance. You always want to check your system before operation. Check for any leaks, you want to check the fittings, you want to check to see if you have the proper amount of hydraulic fluid in the system. That's key because it's going to help keep the system cool during operation and it's going to save your pump. The other maintenance item is you want to make sure you have a sharp blade. The operator is going to be able to work faster and safer. So now you know how to decan your catalytic converters. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new.